All right, guys, give me 32 here. Check it out. We're sitting out here in the shop doing some reloading. Got a big old competition tomorrow. My ammo supplier kind of late getting stuff in today, so we had to break the old Dylan out. All right, so what are we talking about today? We're talking about this new uh, bill that's introduced, the bipartisan bill, and the stuff that's in it. Everybody's talking about it, so I might as well jump on the bandwagon as well. Uh, so let's talk about this. Uh, you, a per, you're a one-on-one -on -one person, and you uh, bought a pistol, and you didn't like it. And then, say for instance, in the state of North Carolina, I think it is. Hell, I've never, I haven't sold anything lately. But if you turn around and you decide you want to sell that pistol, well, this new bill, the Bipartisan's uh, Safety Act, I guess is what it's called, it turns you into a gun dealer because you had in possession of it in less than 30 days. Also, if you make a profit on it, or if you sold it on a Tuesday. Hell, I don't know. It's absolutely ridiculous. But in any case, let's talk about this. Um, so the rhinos and the other people in there, uh, in, the, in Congress and Senate, uh, what they've decided to do is turn everybody into a criminal. And this is where I go uh, in speaking with the DOJ, weaponizing the ATF against private citizens. Okay, so also the DOJ weaponizing the FBI against uh, political opponents of the current administration. It's in there right now. I mean, shoot, man, they're trying to get Justice Thomas on everything they can under the sun just so they can kick him out of there and maybe nominate somebody else and put them in there. But what is happening right now is an atrocity. Uh, but I guess it would go back to the same thing as that, like if I built an AR-15 out of parts and pieces that I bought and turned around and sold it, well, guess what that makes you? You're a manufacturer and you're an FFL. Uh, but what this does is it turns a lot of people into criminals. And if you're not really careful about what's happening, the DOJ, the ATF, is on a firing spree to get a hold of you and everybody else. Um, similar to this, know the laws, because see, I'm running my deal right now, uh, processing some 124 grain nine millimeter. I can't turn around and sell those because there is an FFL. I can't remember exactly what the level it is, but y'all tell me down there. But this is ridiculous. Uh, my, my wife actually came into the shop. She says, have you heard about this? And I said, yes, I've seen Will's video. I've seen uh, Guns and Gear, Guns and Gadgets, probably done one, uh, everybody else. But this hits close to home because if you have a, say for instance, I go broke and I need to sell my firearms, uh, that will turn me into a gun dealer and I will be breaking the law unless I have an FFL. Um, absolutely pathetic and sad, ladies and gentlemen, that this is happening. And this is the level that they are going to. What are they going to solve by doing this? Here's the thing. If you sell a firearm one-on-one, -on -one, uh, who's going to know how much you paid for it and how much you've sold it for? Uh, typically, I will get a bill of sale, but I don't put a price on it if I'm doing that. I don't care. But anyway, uh, yeah, that's what my thoughts are down below. This is BS. This is weaponizing into ATF. But you know what? It's no surprise. I said it yesterday when we were talking about this whole thing with uh, Joe Biden and ATF and the rare breeze trigger. They have weaponized the ATF to go after every means possible to prevent you, ladies and gentlemen, from obtaining a firearm any way possible if you're doing it legally. I mean, my God, even <laughs> nor. New York, one of the guys up there uh, who uh, they moved from Greenville, North Carolina up to New York. Why'd you do that, man? Anyway, we were talking about that, and I went up to Yonkers. I'm walking around with one of the, well, I don't have it on me right now, one of my knives. Come to find out, that's illegal, and it's a, uh, a felony charge if I were to be found with it. But, you know, you got states like North New York who are now taking over for the federal government and running background checks. And not only that, but you got to get a background check for running ammo. What if you had all this stuff? All right, this is where I'm getting at, ladies and gentlemen. It's kind of sick, but that's it. Become a criminal overnight because that's what they want. They want to make it hard. They want to make it impossible. They want to make it difficult. You know, the guy that did this last thing down there in Florida, he bought all his stuff legally. What's next? FFLs? That's where they're heading because they are going there. Missed the dot on the eye. Forget to cross a T. Makes you a criminal. Takes your FFL. Takes your way of life.
Uh, makes me say KB32, let me know what your thoughts are down below. ATF, edit again, man. Way to go, Biden. Yeah, baby. It's KB. All right, what did I say? KB32, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. Support the red, white, and blue. God bless America. God bless us men, women in uniform 24 7 for our freedoms. Freedom's not free. Man, I'm having a good time. Yeah, I know. This is my disaster, but it's mine. Y'all be good. I'm out here. Boom. Ha <laughs> ha.